In this tutorial, we're going to look at the ability to be able to bring in just the video portion of an event or just the audio portion of an event, as well as how to deal with multiple takes of the same item. Now, sometimes when you're filming, you have the ability to be able to go back and do a second or a third or a fourth or as many takes as you like of a particular shot. And rather than then deciding up here in your project media panel which is the best take, you can actually bring multiple takes down as a single event in your timeline and switch between them to see which one actually works best in practice. Now, I can't actually do that because I don't have one item that's got multiple takes, but I will still demonstrate it with clips. But before I do that, I just want to show you that you can actually open Sony VEG files, VEG short for Vegas, which are the project files from directly within the Project Explorer window, as well as going to the file open and navigating to a particular project. So if I actually go to my Explorer here, you'll see that under this Sony Vegas tab here, I've got these Sony Veg project files. Now, if I want to open one of these, I can do one of two things. I could, if I wanted to, drag and drop it as an item on my timeline. Now, that brings a project in as a single item. It takes a moment to be able to go through it and render it and make sure it's available to me. But I'm not opening it, I'm bringing it in as if it is an asset, which is a really important option, which we'll deal with a bit more later on. Some of the media streams can't be included. The error is telling me basically one of the items in there isn't included or hasn't been found. I don't just say that's okay, I've still got the project file. And then I can click in here and you can see that I've actually got that project file as well. I'm going to control Z that and just go backwards and remove it from my project. But the alternative is I can just open it from here. So say I've finished with this project, I don't want to work on this project anymore. Well, I can right click on a project file and go open the project. And it says, do you want to save if you've made any changes to the previous one? It also says one of the items is missing. So let's actually go find that one. I'll click OK. And I'm pretty certain it's this one here, which I'm going to double click. And that's relink the file. And if I want to, then I can actually save that with the relink file so that when I open it again, it'll be available to me. So just bear in mind that when you see that you've got project files, you can bring them in as assets, as events, all on their own, or alternatively, you can open them up as separate projects. And this is quite important for when it comes to dealing with big projects. Now, how do we bring in just audio or just video, and how do we deal with multiple takes? I'm going to go back to my Project Media tab, and I'm also going to get rid of everything that's in here. So hold the Shift key, select the top and the bottom, right-click, and choose Delete Track. And that gets rid of everything. Now, under my tags, I'm going to go down to Castle, and I've got four takes of Castle. So let's show how we can bring them in. So I can, as you know, use the Shift key to select them all and just drag them down my left mouse button and watch the timeline zoom in. So when I let go, it's going to zoom in so I can see all of them across time. And there are all the events across time. Now, I personally would never do this because I like to deal with events that have been trimmed first, which we'll come to in a future tutorial. But it is certainly an option. I'm going to Control-Z to undo that. The next option, again, is to select all these, holding the Shift key. This time, use your right mouse button. So using my right mouse button, I'm clicking and dragging it to the timeline. But when I let go, I'm going to get a dialog box opening asking me what I want to do. Now, Add Across Time is going to do exactly what I've just done with the left mouse button. All the clips are going to come in, all the events are going to come in, and I'm going to see them all across time. So I don't need to show you that one, but this one adds across tracks. And simply saying it's going to add all of these events to a separate video and audio track. Click that, and there they are on separate video and audio tracks. And of course, I'm only going to be able to see the one at the top because you can't see all the other ones because they're below, unless, of course, they're not covered by the top track. So I'm going to control Z and undo that. But sometimes that's useful for bringing multiple events over multiple tracks straight away. Again, I'm going to shift select all of these, right click, drag it to the timeline, let go. And you've got add takes. Now, assuming that these were multiple takes of the same thing, which clearly they're not. So don't worry too much about that. But if they were multiple takes of the same thing, if I go add takes, what I do is I just get one item come up. And you think, well, where have all the other ones gone? Well, they're all there, ready for you to switch between them. And they've all been trimmed to the length of one of the takes. Now, if I right-click on the clip itself, you'll notice that there is actually an option that says Take. And when you go to Cross to Take, you can choose the active, which is you can select which one is at the front. Or you can go to the next or previous, or notice that they're all here. So say I want to see Boat into Harbour as the active Take. Click on that one. 
and now the boat into harbour is the active take. Okay, so if I want to see another one, I can right click on it and go down and find take again, and I can choose, say, Island Lighthouse. And there's the lighthouse on the island. Okay, and that I think then goes to the castle afterwards as well, yes. So you see, what you can do is you can have multiple clips or multiple takes in one event that you can then right click on and go to take and you can choose which one is the active one you're going to work with. This is a really powerful feature because it allows you to bring in multiple takes and select which one works and which one's best. So how about bringing items in and actually just bringing in audio or video? You think you've probably seen you've already got the same option, so I'm going to control Z to undo that and get rid of that. And then again, shift select all the clips, or just take one clip even, just take one clip, right click and drag it down to the timeline, and then I have the same options. So I can say video only across time, across tracks, or video takes as we've just seen, or audio only. Again, the same options that we've just seen at the top here. So if I say video only across time, it's just going to bring in the video portion, and there's the video portion. And if I then was to bring the same track in and drag it down below, and let go, I was to choose audio only across time, I've then got a separate unlinked event, which I could then trim if I wanted in a different way. So if I had additional, where well, you can see I've got additional footage I could bring in, additional audio that I could bring in, uh, which I could perhaps use across time under other clips. And because it's now not grouped with the clip above, it's a separate item, I can use it in a different way. Okay, so these are different ways of dealing with your clips, different ways of bringing them in. You can bring them across time, across tracks, you can have multiple takes, all at one event, and of course you can have separate video and separate audio. It is possible to ungroup items anyway, so you don't necessarily need to bring them in like this if you want to separate them out, but sometimes it's easier to do so. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thanks for watching.